Okay, this is a setup to the investigator problem. The problem is that we have a point x on a circle that can move, and there are two lines coming from x, one which is a straight diameter, and another line that's the same length as the diameter, but goes through some point inside the circle. So it's this distance here is the same as that diameter. We're going to investigate what happens to the end of this free line as you move point x about. But we're going to do it as if you were using paper. So let's take the huge of our line. And what we need to start with is probably a circle that we know. So I'm going to set my circle radius to 3 centimeters and then draw a circle. And then we need to reset my compasses so that it's the same as the diameter. So we can measure that six centimeters. Now this is what you should do if you're doing it properly. I keep jumping to the circle. I like the tool for that. Put the point on the well. Just take the sum. And I set my compasses to six centimeters. The advantage of that is I can now keep going round and doing my points. I need a point that we're going to always put our ruler through. There's my point. And so now I'm able to actually do my point x somewhere on the circumference. Okay, so we're going to start off with this point here. Now you could use the straight line tool, but I'm just going to put the ruler along it. And I'll show you a little cheat we can do in a few moments. Okay, from the rotation from that point. Make sure it goes through that point. And what you should do is put your compasses on one end, rotate round, and put a mark where it touches the ruler. What you can do is you can keep moving the roll around to a new point. So let's make the new point down here. Strictly, I should should be using compasses. I'm going to cheat a little bit and to put the point there, and then rotate my roll there. Come on. through the black point I put a mark at six. Okay, so I'm gonna have to draw along the ruler properly. So I keep going round, find another point, rotate the ruler. And draw six centimeters. So keep going round, putting a point. Okay, ruler. Put some on the circumference. Go to that point and measure six centimeters back in. And the question is. As you go around, these three points at the top and what they create for us. So there we go. So I'm doing I'm going to connect up all these endpoints. I connected all these endpoints up, what shape would I make and use all the way around? 